Hey guys, I just got back from run, but I figured now is as good a time as any to uh, finally film my April update. I know I'm very late on this. I feel like I'm finally getting a hold of a, a routine now. I put a calendar together basically to kind of block out my time for each day and kind of plan out the week. I've been meditating as well. That's been been really good. I just feel like it helps me kind of quiet all this the noise that's going on in my head all the time. I used to meditate on the train in the morning on the way to work and I had a, had a really good routine going for a while there and I felt really great and then that kind of dropped off the map when I had to switch jobs so bringing that back into practice has been a really good decision. I started a Twitch channel. I wanted to get back into playing video games. I have a PlayStation 4 and it's, I have a ton of games that just sit here in my room. But more recently, I've been streaming while I'm on my desktop computer, doing some like Photoshop and Illustrator projects, just to kind of keep myself company, I guess. It's still a work in progress. The main goal for that is that I'm able to get to affiliate status and do a 24-hour stream to raise money for the Arthritis Foundation. Let's see, the rest of our metrics for this month. Running, we ran 116.78 miles. So total for the year so far, we've run 231.04 miles. Uh, Book-wise, I just realized that the book that I finished, the one I showed you last time, is currently holding up the camera. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust you really. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna move you. Tales from out there about the Barkley Marathons. We finished this book. There's a lot of history in here. It's a lot of information about the race and kind of what I'm getting myself into when I eventually do try out for this, which is gonna be very far in the future, but still. The second book, it is the why of the Barkley. There's a lot more to it than just the Barkley. It's basically almost like a stream of consciousness of this one person as they're running the race, as well as after when they decide that they're gonna quit they're gonna DNF, what they do for the rest of the weekend while other runners are still racing. Once I'm done with that book, I plan on reading Caging Skies. It's the book that Jojo Rabbit was based off of. I'm excited to read something that's more of a novel rather than like something that I'm trying to like study off of. Uh, Movie-wise, we've actually implemented Friday night movies. This weekend we're actually going to be doing a double feature. We're going to do Friday night and Saturday night. So we put a list together on Google Docs. Last week was Minority Report. That was an interesting movie. We both really liked the concept. We thought it was really interesting. But visually we didn't feel like it held up. <laughs> and my brother was appalled at the lighting quality in that movie. So I'm going to need my glasses for this one. The first movie that we watched was Goodfellas. I love the storytelling, I thought it was great storytelling, but the movie ran a bit long for me. Otherwise, great film. Loved it. And then we watched Parasite. Amazing. They got it completely right when it won Best Picture. It's just to a T, a perfect film. If you haven't seen it yet, do yourself a favor and watch it. Then we watched Shawshank Redemption. Again, 10 out of 10. My comment, can't find a single thing wrong with it. Uh, then we watched Inception. We This one I think we argued the most about. There were just too many questions unanswered, but I, I enjoyed the conversation that we had based off of it. I saw The Laundromat on Netflix. I loved the cast, and I loved the way the story was told. I liked the way that it finished out, and you see Meryl Streep's character kind of stripped down off of the set and everything, but the ending of the storyline I thought was too abrupt. I don't know, it just kind of left me like, eh. Oh, completely forgot, we watched Whiplash. That was also 10 out of 10. The speed of the movie plays along with the intensity and the tempo at which the musicians are playing at in the film. Uh, this week we're going to be watching The Lobster and Sacred Killing of a Deer. We didn't watch quite as much TV. We did finish Hollywood last night, the new Netflix show, and uh, that was good. I'm kind of hoping that they do a second season. I think they definitely left it open-ended enough. What else did we watch? Ooh, we watched um, I'm Not Okay With This. Hilarious. The dialogue is just so good. They're really short episodes. I think they're 30 minute episodes. A lot of seasons ended in the past month. The Schitt's Creek ended, Modern Family ended, and then Will and Grace ended for a second time. So that was also kind of like, huh, you know, like ends, ends of eras. I'm gonna miss those shows. And that 
that is it. So um, check me out on Twitch. Stay tuned for more style content, possibly a daily vlog. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video.